Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is me, T7 Gaming, here with another episode. And due to the amazing response to the first episode of Deep Talks on YouTube and how much I enjoyed making the first episode, we are back with another one. And today, we are talking about feminism. Important disclaimer. Nothing I say is intended to be sexist, stereotypical, pro-masculinity, or pro-femininity. But at the same time, this is not unbiased. This isn't pro-feminism either. This is my opinion, my view, my perspective. Without further ado, let's get started. So we should probably start off by defining feminism. Google defines it as the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Nothing about that sounds wrong. If you didn't like feminism before, you should now. If you dislike feminism, you dislike gender equality. There's this really good advertisement that has people ask little girls and guys to run like a girl or guy. Same thing for older boys and girls. Here's a short clip showing some of the different reactions. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you some actions to do. I just do the first thing that comes to mind. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. Oh, my hair. Oh my God. Show me what it looks like to fight like a girl. <laughs> now throw like a girl. Aw. Throw like a girl. Fight like a girl. What does it mean to you when I say run like a girl? It means run fast as you can. The smaller kids are so uncorrupted by the stereotypic views of men or women. It's almost as if humans are taught to discriminate by gender. When studying To Kill a Mockingbird, something that will always stick with me, my English teacher said, people are taught racism. The power of that statement. It feels so true, too. Taking this out of the context of racism and bringing it to feminism, people are taught to segregate women out of society. Also, religion has a huge toll on that. In religion, it is said many times that women must be submissive to men. Most of the time, they are objectified, too. So we put women below men because of religion. But religion is very different than politics, very different from sociologies, very different from economics. We can't let religion justify gender segregation. It's not fair that women get paid less than men, that women are looked at differently than men and are blamed when raped. It's not fair that it's more likely for a man to be elected in office than a woman. It's not fair. What inspired me to make this video was actually a tweet that I saw a few weeks ago. It said that feminism is stupid in America, but justified in the Middle East. Yeah, the people in the Middle East are farther behind in terms of what rights they have. For God's sake, women in Saudi Arabia aren't even allowed to drive. We have this idea, though, that because they aren't a Western nation, they don't know better. They also try to use their religion to justify that they can't drive. I'm going to say this as a Muslim, nowhere in the Quran does it say women shouldn't be granted rights. But it's absurd to use the women of the Middle East to degrade the American feminist movement. In America, for every dollar a man makes, a woman makes somewhere between 75 to 80 cents. This is not including housewives or housemen. This accounts for working males and females that have college degrees and are working high paying jobs. That's a 20 to 25% decrease. Take that large scale. Say you're renting a $2,000 home. As a man, let's say I work a job where I get $3,000 a month. A woman with that same job renting the same home would have between $250 to $400 to spend on other things that month, such as food, groceries, and life necessities. That's tough. Not a very realistic hypothetical, but very possible. Also something on my mind that relates to this topic is Hillary Clinton running for president in 2016. This is going to be a short little segment because I don't want to talk about this too much, but it's going to be a huge feminist issue. First off, being a woman, she is probably going to focus on women's rights. Also she's going to get a lot of the female and democrat votes because she's a woman, which isn't bad. I haven't really seen what she's campaigning at all, but I don't think I need to in order to say that if she doesn't become president, everyone is going to attack each other for being anti-feminist. But if she does make president and does a bad job, it's going to be Obama all over again. Why did we elect him? He's such a bad president, etc. 
There are also some semi-rude minimist, which is supposed to be masculinist anyway, pages going around on Twitter, which both bashes feminists and supports them. What I mean by that is that it's bashing on the feminists that act like there's no injustice done to men, or that feminism is about women being greater than men. I'm not fine with the way that they bash on them, but I most definitely understand their concern. Feminism isn't about women being greater than men, it's about equality. These meninist pages support feminism by posting stories of female injustices and spreading awareness. But these pages are co-owned, so you do sometimes see a very out of character tweet or two, so it's very hard to count these as credible sources. Point being, feminism is much needed, not only in developing nations, but also in the United States. Our nation has been a role model for other nations since the end of the Second World War. Maybe it's time we give women equal pay. Maybe it's time we give women more political opportunities. Maybe it's time women aren't treated like sexuals and more like human. God put us on this earth together so we can live in harmony, not constantly fighting against one another. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I spent many hours trying to get the script so that it doesn't offend a large group of people. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you guys would like to start a conversation in the comments and support my theory, please do. If you want to hate on the way I sound or what I said, please do. Please leave a like on this episode. I worked hard on it and I am trying not to hurt anyone with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace!